Hello there, everyone, and welcome to episode 14 of Blue Midwest Mysteries. This is our landmark episode 14, and guys, I was missing from the last one, but now, you know, I'm back. I had to go to the North Pole. I had to do an application. I, you know, I met the, the big man up north, you know, and things are looking pretty good for my, for my uh, upcoming career prospects. But right now I'm back, and I got a goddamn po podcast to host. Oh, yeah. This is, uh... So, uh, person number six, uh, I, is I, my, he's my co-host, as, as per usual, and, um, you know, we're pretty ex excited about this being episode 14, you know, our, our landmark episode. Yeah. Very and important landmark one. And so, because of that, we have added two guests to the roster today, so why don't you uh, introduce yourselves? Or not. I guess I guess we could just be quiet the whole time too. Just kidding. It's that, you know username? what? It's always that awkward silence when you don't know who to go first. I take the reins, Roberto, and just talk. Okay, fine. I guess I'll go first. It's me, Roberto, also known as L N E R Flying Scotsman. I'm on this channel too. Except none of my videos are up. So yeah, because like they're going to get copyright striked. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we also have Damien, a.k.a. Trains Are Cool too. What's going on? All uppercase letters. Yes. All uppercase. Don't forget about it. You, you got to scream it out loud. That's what uppercase <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't thinking that all those years ago. <laughs> Man, so, so what's up, guys? How we doing? How we been? How we feeling? Life's, cr I'm, I'm life's been crazy. Man. Yeah. I'm hanging in there, yeah. Good, Doing good. All right. Fine. I bet your life hasn't been exciting as it was with uh, when we filmed that uh, that video. Well, oh, I dude, it hasn't it hasn't been the same since, man. The Bolstrode video, My right? My epic vlog on Bolstrode, yeah. Oh, um, yeah, the vlog that's no longer up. I just Wait, uh, removed? I just rewatched it the other day. No, dude, I made all my videos private. Your MPS videos? Yeah. Oh, any reason why? Eh, I mean, I don't know. I just felt like it. I'm, I, I, mean, I, keep... I mean, I'm sure you've, like, moved on from it. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah, I keep saying I might put them back soon because I have so many people asking me to, but I keep saying maybe and not doing it, so we'll see. I think you should make the bullshit video on listen in case, like, I or Roberto ever want to watch it. For sure, that's not a bad idea. There's a couple videos yeah. that are unlisted that people have managed to find still. Like, I keep getting comments on some unlisted videos, and I'm like, how do you people find these? That's really weird, Play yeah. This. I yeah, guess in a playlist, playlist, yeah, or like they had like the link saved somehow. Yeah, that, that happened. Yeah. But, uh, well, Percy number six, how uh, thank you for uh, covering for me while I was gone. Mm -hmm. I appreciate your services. Yes. Oh, I'm glad. You know, I talked to the big man a lot about you, and I think he was excited to meet you. Thanks. Sounds bro. like man, sounds like MPS died. I mean, you keep talking about like the big man, like what the big man up in the sky. Oh, the big man up in the North Pole. Jolly Saint, on, Saint Nicholas. Saint Nick. Have you, you ever heard of that's him? Why, that's why you haven't even had an opportunity to be an intern at the North Pole. Actually, I actually did watch, like, all. I binge watched through the podcast, all the available episodes, which if you want to date this video, it's currently June 20th. No! <laughs> <laughs> Like 2021, when this goes up at the no. rate we're going. <laughs> Wait, really? Wait, it's gonna, it's gonna take that long to be uploaded? We have a, a lot of episodes. Like, this is number five right now that's really? ready to go. <laughs> wait, is this like a, wait, is this like a Thomas Community channel? That this po this that fucking this guy. Is gonna be this guy. Oh, man. Comes on our podcast, doesn't even know the lore. Unbelievable. Oh. Yeah, pretty much it's this yo, community yo, channel. I was just trying to have some clarification here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you no. even know what community radio is, Damien? The, isn't that like some old-ass channel or something like that? Well, it was old, but now it's new because, you know, the passage of time is... Uh... Oh, oh, so, so you're, saying, <laughs> you're, you're saying you revived it? Yes. I mean, dude, I'm out of the loop on this shit, man. It's not like I think about this stuff all the time. Damien, well, dude, I'm excited to talk here. to you. I haven't been this excited since D-Day. D -Day. That's a long time, man. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to hanging out again when I get back out over there. Yeah, bro. When once it's safe to travel again. 
Well, I mean, I was thinking next time I, I go there, I'll just move there. Because if I just keep taking vacations there, how am I going to save money? Yeah, that's so expensive. <laughs> yeah, so, like, I, I figured just wait the however many years it takes and then just, just go, you know what I mean? Right, well, I, I don't know what I'm going to be doing after college because I'm currently still in in Milwaukee, but... uh. I mean, didn't you say you're gonna move out there anyway to LA or? Um... Maybe, potentially, we'll see. I don't. Nobody gives a shit about me or what I plan to do, but they. Well, you wanna... can't. Well, you can't. Well, you can't say that. Well, that's. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate that, but uh, that's not what this podcast is about. This is about solving mysteries <laughs> in the blue Midwest. Percy number Wait, six. Uh, what? My, you... my I thought that's apologies. a whole different show. Do we have any mysteries to solve today? Today, today's mystery is why does Damien know nothing about the Thomas Wooden Railway Community? Mm, good mystery. I think the answer is because he's <laughs> too good for us. No, it's yeah. because I haven't been involved in like five plus years. <laughs> Ooh. Remember when you were the longest tenured guy in the community and now you don't even know what's going on? <laughs> Basically. How that, the mighty you know, that have fallen. But you know what? That doesn't seem like a long time though. Like. That was like what five years and eight months I was there. Like I'm, I'm sure there's people that have like definitely like. Uh, the passage of time is crazy. Oh yeah, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, Ch- <laughs> well, dude, Chase has been around for so long. You know, he's left like four times. Oh yeah, I remember that. Hey, Amen. This will be my 12 year anniversary. September. Are you serious? Well, yeah. you know, I, still, I still like remember the date I made the channel. I'm like, oh wow, whole another year. My boy, oh my god, it's crazy. Yeah, I do a special anniversary video one of these years. I have to? Oh, yeah. That's, that's how I, it works. That'd be so funny if I really just did. Like, and I went all out. Like, I made a fucking layout and everything and all that shit. I put on, like, a Thomas tape on a VCR. I'm like, hey, hey guys, I'm back. But then, like, you never hear from me again. Dude, I've <laughs> missed making layouts so badly, to be honest. Do you really? Yeah. Do oh, honestly, yeah I can agree. They're do fun. All, dude, all my shit just sits in my attic, man. I don't ever look at dude, it. Dude, yeah, I mean, all my shit sits in my garage in California, but it's like I wish, I kind of wish I could and, still build and, a layout. But, dude, you know what's crazy about that shit? When we when we were over there, we looked at that shit, that shit was way more smaller than I remembered. Yeah. Like, the actual, like, trains and stalls. I'm like, dude, I thought they were way bigger, like, I years s- before that. You know I what still I mean? have some of my collection here at my apartment. But, the white but, face troublesome truck. <laughs> I never my fake white face troublesome truck that turtles. And oh Thomas yeah, gave you me. had a fake one. Oh yeah. Yeah, turtles and Thomas gave me that one. <laughs> you should, did you take the Bolstrode home with yo, you? Because that that thing's like iconic. At this I did. Yeah, so I still like, have the Bolstrode. Yeah. Wait, is, is turtles and Thomas still making videos? I fucking just remember that dude. Yeah, dude. He's still making. He's pretty consistent with his content. Oh, so you guys are probably okay. I guess Damien's the only one that's new. We don't talk about Thomas on this podcast. Yeah, that's oh, the cardinal rule of this podcast, is that we're the only podcast on this fucking channel that doesn't talk about Thomas. Okay. Oh. So, uh, how's quarantine? Oh, I mean, fine. It's, it's... I'd rather be outside. I think, it's, I think it's getting better. Yeah, I... I mean, it's been... It's definitely been a little tough. But, uh, you know, we're surviving. I mean, I see more cars on the road now whenever I go to work, so I, people are definitely going back to work, starting to at least. Did you work through this entire thing, or have you just been working recently? I just, I've been working, yeah, I worked through this entire thing, yeah. Ooh. That, that's kind of fucked. <laughs> oh, you are essential is what you're telling us, Damien. I mean, yeah, but it's just at a grocery store, nothing, uh, nothing too crazy, you nothing and, to brag about. You wouldn't, wouldn't really only are grocery store boys. Who the hell is one railway only? Oh, <laughs> that's right in the heart there. Hate to see no. it. No, well, who is that? I really don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> that's funny. I can't blame even I didn't know who he was until like I started reinvesting oh, myself a little bit here. Are you guys in the lab? Oh, oh like, like oh, okay. Well, like he a he's like our third co-host, even though he hasn't been on in a little bit now. Uh. B, he, he, he goes to school right by Matt. Yeah, he goes to school like oh, 20 minutes really? away from me. Yeah. So have you have you guys hung out? You guys have hung out, haven't you? Yeah, we, we hang out all the time. Oh, for real? Cool. Except before before COVID, obviously. Obviously, obviously. But hopefully he's coming back here soon, and if it's safe, then we can kick it. <laughs> true. Six okay, feet well, apart uh, with Matt. Yeah. I mean, I mean, shit, man, I'm going to, I'm going to work away. six days a week with like mad people around me. I mean... It's just that risk is always there. Yeah, I sure. finally hung out with one of my friends after three months yesterday. So, 
And it's like yeah. crazy to see somebody after that long. And yeah, I mean, I just, like, it's just like as long as you're, as long as you're fucking careful about it, it's like as I mean, long listen, as, just don't be to, stupid. I mean, listen, when I go to work, I gotta wear a face mask. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I don't wear a face mask, I, a face mask, I can't work. You know what I mean? So, well, I feel yeah, like if, if every, people are going out in general right now, people should still be wearing face masks. I right, think, they have. They actually yeah, have to I make it a do. law, like not a law here, but like an order in and, California. Uh, you have to go order. Out. Yeah, you have to go yeah. if you I have think, to wear a mask whenever you go out. Yo, I think more places could be open if everybody just wore a face mask. Yeah, but, but there's some people who don't want to do it. Really I know, are. dude. I went to the yo, I went to the post office the other day, mailed out a package, and like there was a whole line outside the post office. And there's actually a dude in there not wearing a face mask, and nobody said anything. And I was like, that's so fucking weird. How like nobody said anything about that. It's like people are like, I don't want to. I don't want people to tell me what to do. But it's like, dude, if. If people are wrong, then the only inconvenience that you've had is you just had to wear a slightly uncomfortable piece of cloth over your face. Like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's like, not this that bad, really. It's re- no, it's not that bad. In the beginning, it's like, oh, it sucks. But, dude, I've worn it so many times. It's like, dude, I'm used to it. Yeah, like, it's, it's like... kind of it's kinda hard to breathe, but it's also kind of hard to breathe if you get coronavirus and your lungs fill up with fluid. So. Exactly. Like, the alternative it's basically... is so much worse not wearing a mask. It's like, seriously like I've 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 had pneumonia before and like yeah that shit is scary you know it sucks. like yeah like you'd too. rather just wear the mask and that one oh, I had it for like a few weeks that sucked so much yeah yeah but this COVID thing if you get it it's supposed to last like years before it like repairs fully or something like that I don't know really well, yeah I, I heard it lasts a long time. On it. Well, people love to spread misinformation, too. Like, there's just so much shit. There's so many people that think they know what's going on about it. Oh, my God, dude. I have a friend that shares so much dumb shit on Facebook about, like, conspiracy theories and, like, COVID-19. I'm like, dude, just shut up. We've talked about that (laughs) on a couple episodes before, but I love coronavirus conspiracy theories. They are so funny to me. You know what? I love talking about conspiracy theories, but, like, when you have a friend that just believes in every conspiracy, you're just like, oh, my God. I have a friend who's like that, and he's a philosophy major. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> maybe they're Fancy. not conspiracy theories. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, maybe <laughs> Sigmund Freud predicted it all along. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that like some psychology dude or something like that? Yeah, he was the guy that said that uh, you always that guys always want to kill their dad and fuck their mom. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, because I took psychology in my last semester. Yeah, that's definitely true. And vice I've ver- never taken a psychology <laughs> class. And vice versa for women. Want to kill their mom and... Okay. And fuck their dad. Yeah. yeah. I, oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> he, I know. I I know. Believe me. Believe Sigmund, me. Sigmund Freud was definitely not crazy. Yeah, I he's I took like an AP psychology class in high school. It was interesting. How, how was that? Man, I loved high school. Best fourteen years of my life. Fourteen <laughs> years. <laughs> but well, did well, you well, just hey, finish high school? Beat me to it, Roberto. <laughs> Congrats, man! You know you're eighteen and all finally because you were born in two thousand and two. This joke is still funny. It's still, I mean, I'm. Still really I still find it funny. Yo, for a second, I had to think about how, how old Matt was. I was like, wait, how old is that dude? <laughs> uh, it is crazy, though, because the passage of time, we're so old that Matt would be 18 oh, now. Oh, I, I know. It's crazy. I'm waiting for someone to make one too many passage of time comments, and then Damien just hangs up. <laughs> no, it's... It, dude, it's just like... Whenever we think of your Twitter account, it's always the passage of time and the bong, 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 yeah, bong. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Yo, yeah, we had, we had to fill you in on all that stuff when we met up last summer. Yo, good thing I deleted that thing. God damn it. I remember uh, you, the timeline used to just be clogged with bong, 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 bong. And you didn't even remember it. Nah, I... It's funny. And all yeah, the passage of time jokes we made, you were like, guys, come on now. It's not <laughs> funny anymore. I miss I'm you sure. on Twitter, Damien. You missed me on what? What did I even talk about on Twitter besides bong, 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 and time? Dude, you just talk, you just talk your shit, man. <laughs> but like, about what? Do you guys even like remember? Dude, all that shit is like a blur, man. Damien, I remember when you were like collecting every ninety-two item, and I I remember like one of the last things you got was like Harold. You paid like fifty dollars for it, and now you can get it for like twenty dollars. I know. You sell it. Yeah, Dude, I know. You sell it for like a dollar. Yo, oh, yo, guys, okay, I told Roberto this, but I didn't tell you guys. 
uh, like a couple summers ago, I went to a flea market by me and I found a fucking Herald, right? Like a 92 Herald. I was like, yo, oh shit, I'm going to buy this thing for like a dollar or whatever the fuck it was at that flea market. I'm going to sell on eBay. Bro, I think I got $2 for it on eBay. Really? Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> oh, bro, bro, man. it was like some low amount, right? Maybe like $2, $5. It was like some crazy low amount. Yeah, dude, you like you tend you, you know what you pay a very small price for it, so you can technically say you did double your profits on it. Oh, what you yeah, should have done? That's a very pathetic have, profit. You should have <laughs> done like Mr. One dollar profit. You should have done like Mr. Bullfill and had us uh, <laughs> up, up the the cost of it, and then have yeah. Johnny accidentally <laughs> buy it. Dude, you know, I haven't spoken to Ryan in months. I haven't spoken yeah. to that dude in months. He has some stuff on eBay listed. Well, not currently. By the time this video goes up, well, he does have stuff listed. Right now? Yeah, I just kind of like happened to check on it because he, he was in my feed, Train Man 5425. Oh, he was selling like trains and shit? Hey, everybody, no, he, Train he, he Man 5425. He's selling yeah. like accessories, like a wallet, a woman's watch, a Michael Kors purse, you know, yeah, stuff bro, like that. Yeah, he's, he's always trying to sell that kind of shit. He would have me like help him bid, and a lot of times, man, I would just win it. We have to cancel the auction because I'm not going to buy that shit. I know. <laughs> no, one time he like, almost no. made Johnny buy a soda yeah, milk coach because he that, won the auction. That, that was so funny. I remember that, dude. Well, you know what, man? I noticed for a while, man. He was just asking me to help him with shit, and then I was just like, "Yo, like I, this dude just seemed like he's using me and shit." So I'm just like, I should have told him, like, "Yo, I'm not gonna help you on your shit, man," because that's all you hit me up for. Not to get depressing. I figured I'd just tell everybody that. Are you guys just like admitting to <laughs> to committing eBay fraud right now, bro? What? Shush. Shush. It's fine. The, the statute of limitations. That was like 14 years ago when I was still in high school. I know, dude. The past of time is crazy, isn't it? Uh, Beat 14 to it. years. Man. Well, good silence, guys. I'm glad we followed that up with a nice, awkward silence. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're welcome. This is Second one of the video. We haven't Second heard. We haven't heard video. from Percy number six in a while. We haven't heard from Pussy number six in a while. <laughs> Pussy number six. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I, I've been pretty quiet lately. I just I've been listening to these guys go back and forth. Or what about Oral number eleven? Uh, eh, I forgot not, Oliver not number eleven. Yo, do you guys remember the fucking Ryan Carman? Holy shit! The Ryan Carman. <laughs> yes, that's I, such a random user. Barely. Up. I forgot about him. Yeah, tell random you user. About I don't him. remember him that much. And then fucking flying Duckman three sixty. Yo, our TWR community. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, t Tank Engine Studios. Like, oh, like I can't believe that's on. I, I can't wait to finally Wooden, join. Thomas Wooden one two three. Key Crate twenty four fan club. <laughs> <laughs> no, Join the yo, fan I, club. Yo, Henry is great. Fifteen is great. Fifteen. Yo, I, I, I looked up our Bofell on the YouTube search, and, like, all this other shit came up, and I was like, wow, holy shit. Well, I mean, it makes sense he doesn't have the... his videos up anymore. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Does so Henry Fan 88 still have his videos me... up, or no? Yo, he deleted his years ago. Oh, Yo, he... that's right. Wait, who deleted theirs? Henry Fan 88, Trey. Oh, yeah, I remember that. The yeah. legend who almost lit up his collection with a joint. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was a card. Yo, is that really what he did? Yeah, he fell asleep with a joint burning, and he almost fucking set up, set his collection up in smoke. Bro, that guy was a stoner for a while. I, yo, I forgot all about that, dude. Holy shit! I remember he had like big hair. Uh, yeah, it was like I think he was like some southern dude or something like that. Oh shit, my bad. Probably. No, those videos are so old and gone that I barely remember them, but like, no, I yeah. still kind of do. I remember some. I remember. Of his, how his I remember he had to look like. I remember he had his shit on a table. That's what I remember. Yeah, like yeah, a, that's like a play say. table. That's how I remember it. it was like a layout on a play yeah, table. Yeah, he had like the train table, and then he had like this giant mat. I don't know. Whatever there's you want to call one, it. There's only one Southern community member that I'm interested in, and his name is Jack. Jack. I was gonna. I almost said Jack Rosado. <laughs> well, that didn't surprise me. Yeah, Mister Miss Mister Mister Jack Rosado. I mean, I think. We've run out of things to talk about. We're just sending images now at this point. No, we can still talk about <laughs> shit. What are you talking about? Well, I mean, okay. Well, I mean, we're at 20. Well, we, we could, oh, you know what? Here's Yo, a fun story that? from last year. Okay, go on. It's when, uh, okay, so it was way, all right, so 
our meetup last year is uh, we came to Matt's house, we stayed the night, we went to San Diego, then we came, and then me and Damien came back to LA the next, uh, you know, like the next day, nighttime. Dude, I know what you're talking about. Holy shit, I was thinking about this. So I'm about to drop him off to his Airbnb, right? Yeah, in fact. And I'm, I make this left turn onto like this crowded street from a side street, and then there's this guy who just randomly honks his horn at me. Dude, I think it's because you almost sideswiped him or some shit. No, no, I didn't. Well, he might have thought that, but I was going into like the middle lane, moving into the next lane. He was Something like on like the that, yeah. lane far to the right. He thought I was going to sideswipe him, but I was just being a smart driver and knowing when to turn into a two a two way lane. You know those lanes right. in the middle. It's well, easier, do... so you don't have to hold up the traffic behind you. You just right. turn, and then you merge into the lane you're you're going with the traffic when whenever you get a chance, instead of just staying there. Anyways, so I had my window roll down, and then I made a turn into the street that I needed to turn into, right? Following the GPS, and he starts following us. <laughs> he starts following us, dude, flashing legit, his high beams. <laughs> dude, I was legit kind of shook about that. I was like, dude, like some fucking crazy maniac is following us. Now. I and never we were, had that happen yo, to me and either. Yo, and yo, we were so close to my Airbnb, maybe like two blocks away. I know we had to, I had to like drive for an extra ten minutes just to lose him, that and then eventually so... he, he yeah, gave I... up. he gave up. <laughs> he gave up. Yeah, yeah. He kept flashing his high beams and then uh... like telling us like to pull over and stuff like that. I'm like, no. Wait, he was yelling at us. I think I thought he was. I know he was flashing his high beams and shit. Which yo, I'm pretty sure it was illegal, by the way, because that can cause an accident. Damien, are that you is outside illegal. right now? Yeah, I'm, out, I'm outside right now. Yeah. <laughs> I was just wondering because I hear birds in the background. Yeah, I'm outside. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to mention the bird, but yeah. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, but that was crazy. And we literally, it got us shook. We were about yeah, to I, drive. I was, I was fucking shook, yeah. I thought you were going to get back on like the 405 or some shit. Well, I don't know how else to lose him. Yeah, exactly. And I didn't know the area that well either. Right. Yeah, I know. How, how often do you really go up there, right? I mean, shit. Well, no, like not that often. It's like all it's the like, way dude, near... It's like, dude, it's fucking like 40 minutes from your apartment. Yeah, it's like near the beach, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude, it was like walking distance from Venice Beach, yeah. It's exactly. So I, I, I rarely go that far. If I go to a beach, I go to Santa Monica because I am basic. Yeah, we're... No, that, no but that was a cool spot, too. I went there myself a couple times. Yeah, Santa Monica is is cool. But what up, invaders? No, well, Today we're out here well, at Venice, Venice Beach kissing some hot girls. Vespucci Beach. Yo, man, yo, hopefully like, all of us will just do that one day, you know what I mean? Be out on Venice, Venice Beach, Beach kissing hot girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever go to California? I mean, why not? Yeah. I'd take a trip out there. I'd want to go to... You could have stayed with us at Matt's parents' house in... Which we have to do again one day, because that shit was fucking fun. We're still recording, by the way, so don't dox me, please. <laughs> <laughs> just bleep, just hey, bleep anything yo, listen, out. Yo, like, listen, as long, yo, as, as long as the address isn't given out, which I think I still remember, by the way. <laughs> so let me read it aloud. Say it, say, it, say it if you think you still remember it, and then I'll tell you wait, if it's do, right or wrong. Wait, do you, you, you really want me to say it right now? You want me to say it? I'll, if, it's wrong, I'll, if it's right or wrong, I'll just bleep it out. Okay, it's... Well, you were right. Guess I have to Holy put that shit. out. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Are we out of California? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, in if, the middle so of if anyone nowhere. ever wants to find me, just go fucking kidnap Damien well, and well, force not, him to... Well, yeah, but you're in Milwaukee. You're not in California. That's true. Or you know what? You can send Chinese food to Damien's house. <laughs> That's a good throwback. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, I'm, Yo, I was at a friend's house. And my mom called, like, yo, why did you order Chinese food? I was like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Why'd you order Chinese food? <laughs> and, and we know yo, for sure that that was Jack that sent Chinese food to your house, And, right? yo, I'm pretty sure they also sent pizza. Yeah, that's what, we, that's what Damien thought of. Like, way back then, like, Jack must have got my, my address and sent food in my house to prank me. Did you have to pay for the food? Yeah, I was gonna ask, did you have to pay uh, nah, for it? Nah, nah, man. I think my mom was just like, we didn't order that shit, you know? Oh. <laughs> Should have just taken it and then not paid for it. Oh, yeah, because I definitely would have went over. <laughs> yeah, the cops would be there. No, would they Would they really call the cops over stupid shit like that? 
I, I don't know, man. But hey, you know what? The bird wants to speak a little bit, I think. Yeah, let's hear right, let, what Damien's right, okay. bird has to say. All right, the shh, shh. <laughs> Wise words. Very got a wise. Lot to say. <laughs> wise <laughs> words. We have I think he's saying, I think, yes, he's saying the cops probably will be called if, you know. They... Right, I think that's what he was saying, yes. Well, we yeah, actually it's... have, we have you, three you special the, guests. You had the translator, yes. You had... Yes. <laughs> three yes. special guests. And the bird in my backyard. Yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we'll I mean, because to... technically they say it's stealing, right? I mean, the, you, you, they assume that you order the food and well, you all, took it, but not well, paying for it. Well, why would you give food and then just like not, like why, like why would they give you food and like not take the money first? I don't know. I don't order takeout that often. I feel like we're talking about something so stupid it doesn't even matter. Okay, well, I, you know, what? I don't, don't order delivery that often. Like I much rather prefer to go. I mean, I was just joking. Carry out or stuff like that. No, yeah, absolutely. No, I, I got – this is off topic, but I got to say because I know we're getting close towards the end. Wait, what we if, are? Yeah, we're, we only go half an hour, Damien. Oh, really? We can't just keep talking like as a group? We can after the, the video is done. Yeah, oh, okay. see, I, once I, I we hang up, then we can talk about whatever we want to. Oh, Uncensored. Okay. Then I'll tell yeah. you why we can't talk about uh, the Magic Railroad thing on the podcast. Or why yeah, we can't sorry. talk about whatever is oh, dude, going I have on some, currently. Yeah, I have some stuff about to tell you about, too. Yo, I, yo, I really <laughs> don't like that. Alert. Yo, I really don't like that, dude. He's so negative. I'm like, I can't. Okay, well, we'll tell you after the podcast. Guys, thank you so much for listening to episode 14, our landmark episode. Do you want to redo it? No. Why would we? This was a great episode. Oh, episode I, I, 14 and episode 15 coming hey, soon, probably hey man, with the long, same guests, or maybe not, I don't know. Hey man, as long as you guys think it's like, 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 good enough, that's fine with me. Dude, we have very <laughs> low standards here on this podcast. And really? listen, I, I, and, listen, I, listen, and listen, I didn't know that, you know, if you guys, <laughs> they put some, if you guys put some ground rules, I've been like, fucking awesome, let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just kind of got into the call like, okay, let's just start talking because you should have been yeah, recording about an I, hour I, ago. I was just like, I was just like, yo, let's talk and let's just like naturally flow, you know. But that's well, I mean, good. that's that's what we did. It was a, it was a, I think this was a good episode. Yeah, hey, yeah. Man, listen, I'll come back for another one. I don't give a shit. Sick. That's what we like to hear from our guests. Okay, yeah. well, I'm gonna end this recording now, and then I'm gonna, and then we can just talk. <laughs> All right. Cool. Okay, goodbye to everyone. Do you guys Bye. have... Do you, where can people find you on the uh, Twitter and et cetera? Et cetera? Uh, uh, I, don't, I try not to use social media, to be honest. I'm kind of over it. Good. I have a show here. Listen to that. That's that's all I have to say to it. <laughs> Great. Co-host, do you want to uh, I mean, sign us off? Yeah, Thanks for joining us today. Here's a nice little throwback from 2012 Skype, but on Discord. Only if, if you know, you know. Know, you know. If you know, you know.